huge thank you to Tim. Tim actually made one of the BRZ drawings I have in my office. He made this Christmas ornament of the Civic. And I thought they were both gonna be Christmas gifts, but Jacob actually made me a 3D printed, look at this. Can we get a good focus? A little 3D printed, stay committed shift knob. He said he made this with the S10 in mind. This is supposed to be made with stuff that can like withstand nice summer temperatures. Dude, this is actually sick. So thank you, dude. All right, so for the last couple days, I've been trying to make sure that Jasmine is 100% ready to go to the dyno. The map sensor is like kind of dying, but I bought a Skunk 2 map sensor to replace it. When I put it in yesterday, it wouldn't even start. So I'm gonna bring it with me just in case it's like a tune thing, I don't know. I got the AFR gauge back in. I got everything back in on the interior too. This is like the cleanest I think I've ever seen this car in here. Before we even start this video, we're gonna make sure this thing starts this morning. Cause you really never know. There we go. I also, somehow again, I pooch this wire so now these things don't stay the color I want them, which is kind of annoying, but. And of course this morning is like the absolute coldest morning we have had yet this year. Like it's actually freezing. I'm actually wearing two sweaters and I have a jacket in the car. I really don't want to blow my car up because it's the only shot I have of having a car for the next like week. It'd be nice if it just made it through down a day, you know? I was trying to take a look at it myself the other day and I just completely uploaded a bass tune to it oh, by yeah. mistake, yeah. so. Alright, what happened really quickly was literally they already had the old tune on file here. Instead of going in and starting again and wasting half the day trying to retune this thing, they literally just downloaded the old tune since before I pooched it back onto the car and then we're going to feed off that. So, they're saying it could be like a uh, wastegate leak. It could be a couple things. I, like I told you guys, I took the wastegate apart and looked at it, but I might not have found. <laughs> I might not have found like a tiny little crack or, or something that was wrong with it. So we got the old tune on. Obviously, it's, it's running. I don't know how the AFR looks. Perfect. It's decent. Yeah. Good. You want to go for a little drive then? Yeah, let's go. I also didn't bring GoPro or anything because I thought we were actually going to get on the dyno. So Courtney's going to sit in the back and film. Yeah. because going on the street would have been way too easy. It literally said what I've been saying this whole time. We took it out, we were boosting, and then they looked at the tune and they're like, we didn't see a boost cut. So that's what I was saying the whole time. I don't know why, I don't know what's going on with it, but we're gonna throw it on the Tino and see what happens because it's the only way to diagnose it. They were like, we can't get on the street and like hold it at like a steady place where it's boost or like whatever it's cutting is cutting. We can't figure out a way to like do that on the street, hold it steady. Oh my God, that was great. So the only thing we have left to do is just put on the dyno and see what happens. I got my hands on DSG's black box. So while I set up the dyno, I'm gonna open this thing. I've never actually seen inside one of these things. So if you buy this box, you'll get over 30 exclusive discounts on DSG's website. You'll also get 10% off the Karma body kit if you guys use the link in the description down below. And you get tons of free merch. So I've heard a lot about this little black box, but I have never actually got a black box. Oh, okay, so that's how this works. So you buy the box and you get this sheet. This isn't a paid promotion. I got this box because I thought it was cool and I want to see what goes on inside this box. So when you buy the box, you get this sheet and it's got a bunch of companies, like 30 companies and codes for all the companies. Obviously it's blurred out. That way you guys have to buy your own box to get your own codes to get the discounts. And then you should just be getting a bunch of sweat. We got a toque, DSG license plate frame. We got some feed the bug smellies. A little bottle of tire shine from Adams Polishes. Ooh, a nice Adams Polishes rug. Rug, quality little cloth, lanyard, t-shirt, DSG sticker, detail spray, and another DSG t-shirt. This is tight. That's pretty cool. So like, the, I'm pretty sure the amount of goodies you get in the box is probably close to near what the box was worth. And then on top of that, you're gonna get a bunch of discounts. If you were to spend a certain amount of money, having bought this box and getting the discount is still cheaper than buying it full out, if that makes any sense. I don't know, it's a cool idea. I wanted to see what was in it for myself and I wanted to show you guys in case this is something you guys are interested in. So if you are, there will be a link down below. And remember, if you get the box through the link down below, you will also get 10% off the Karma Kit, which you don't get if you just go buy it from the website. And while all this was going down, on the plus side, you guys know that the Civic has had reverse issues 
for a while and I was showing you guys I was trying to fix them and we were trying to actually I'm gonna take my sunnies before I go up there and blind myself this time so you guys know this the sieves and popping in and out of reverse and being kind of stupid but, but somehow made it up there as this thing's getting strapped down and ready to go all the members and unfortunately only the members are gonna know what I mean by this but right now as I was standing here I just got a text saying the car has been picked up so if you guys are members you guys know exactly what that means and I know you guys are fired up So this will just narrow down if it's waste gate or not, right? Yeah. We did a few more pulls and then we realized that it might actually be some kind of boost cut to do with the waste gate. So we have this little contraption that hooks up. One end is obviously to a compressor and then the other end goes to the waste gate so we can hook it up and see. There you go, it's just leaking like crazy. That's it, eh? Yeah. So what's leaking exactly? Do we not like... sure. Somewhere in the diaphragm maybe or the... Oh, the fitting itself here. Oh, what the hell? Because if yeah. it's literally just that nipple that's yeah. leaking right here, that'll definitely corrupt your signal. And oh yeah, the exactly. It's yeah. just letting a little bit out and then it's over boosting and it won't go. That would be ideal if it's just the nipple. We need to start accumulating cool tools like that so that I can just run a little pressure test on my waste gate. Leak, leak down tester. That's what it is, just a leak down tester? I am gonna have to get one of these. Test number two. So hopefully we just don't hear anything now. That would be ideal. So that's leaking out the valve. Leaking out the valve? Mm -hmm. So the valve of the wastegate itself. See how much boost it needs to open up. Okay, it just started opening now. We're at about 30 here, which might be 15 on the car. So, <laughs> so a little more. I think it's time for a wastegate. It's one of those things where I don't have tools like that, so I just started, I just took it apart and looked, and I'm like, I don't know, it looks okay. That's why sometimes you just gotta, even, it, I hate doing this, because it's one of those things where I like to fix everything and do it all myself, but like sometimes you just gotta claim a loss and let someone tell you what's wrong. So I'd rather know, though, like I'd rather just get a wastegate and call it a day. Fire back on the dyno one more time. We're just gonna do a couple pulls to see if we can get it to load boost. I do need a wastegate, so that's obviously the problem, but we just wanna see like if, Putting that crush washer may have helped. I have to come back again after we get the new wastegate one day and just see what we make for power. <laughs> About time I hear this thing boost, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, we're only at seven pounds. Okay. And the, and the tune is pretty conservative too, right? So. Cool. All right, well, we'll get the wastegate and then we'll bring it back and we'll just beat the... I don't know how much you guys can hear in there because it's super loud, but basically right now it's on an extremely conservative tune because the issues that we're having with it. So basically he said get a bigger map sensor that can read more, get another wastegate that actually works, and then we'll bring it back and we'll actually push it to see what the numbers were. Because if you guys remember the first time we were on the dyno we got to 200 horsepower and then the turbo fell off. So like you tune in increments and we got to 200 and then we had to stop because there was a problem. So then when we were on the street tune, we pushed it beyond that. But then here, we can't really play with it too much. He's stopping it at actually seven pounds of boost because that's all that we can really do without starting to break just because it's not running right. But at least for now, it runs and we can drive a car because I haven't had a car in like two weeks and I'm driving myself insane.
we're just gonna go home after the dyno, but we actually got a call that I am able to go and sign everything and get everything official for the shop, which is sick. So I've been here once with Brad to look at it and I came here once with Emerson to show Emerson and see what he thought about it. But Courtney has never even seen this place yet and I'm excited, I'm gonna show her and then we're actually gonna get the keys, which is sick. I've been, it like still doesn't really feel real. It's just cool to talk about, but I don't know, I'm pretty fired up. Can you see it? Oh wow, yeah, it looks way better with all the paint. Way better, eh? Nice. Just like, just mud on the corners cleaned it up a lot. Okay, what do you think? I like it. It's do you? big. It's, it's like, big. it's, this shop's cool because it's not, I feel like a lot of people that have shops, especially on YouTube, they're like really long and they look big. Like when you look at it, you're like, wow, that's a lot of space. Yeah. But I like specifically remember watching videos of people who have really long shops and they ran out of space way faster than you would think because length is hard to use. Mm. But this one's really wide. I was gonna show you guys a little bit more but they're in there right now cleaning it. So basically what happened was the guy that was in here before had a forklift. Did I zoom that way in? The guy that was in here before had a forklift and he had no idea how to drive it. So he punctured holes in all the walls. Um, so they were in there for the last like week or so. Oh, they're packing the fridge in there right now. They were in there for the last like week or so and they patched up all the holes in the wall, they painted the entire place, everything's like super mint ready to go. And we got the keys baby, so we're gonna start moving in. For you guys that are members and follow, the car that we got is gonna be here tomorrow, so we gotta come here tomorrow and pick it up and get it in there. That's why we're like doing this today so that we're getting, like technically getting a day early. That way we can come here and get the car tomorrow. Um, and then I think Sunday we're planning to move in. What does that have to do with members? Because the members have seen the car, they know what it is. I send photos. Oh, do they know? Yeah, that's they're why like they're members. People? Like they yeah. know that a... The members know what it is. They right. know, seen photos of it. The members have seen photos of the inside of the shop. The members get the hookups, dude. That's I, why I'm they- not a member. You're so. not a member. You <laughs> suck. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna leave the video here because we're gonna go hang out because the rest of the weekend is gonna be devoted to getting our asses in this shop. So, I hope you guys are excited to see it. I'm excited. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and stay committed. And you thought a civic video was gonna end just like that. I literally put the camera down and we go to leave the shop and I like almost stalled twice, like just leaving. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then I press the clutch in and look at this. Look at this, ready? I'm pressing the clutch in right now. I'm still driving. <laughs> I think my slave is dead. Once we stop, we're, we're basically pooched once we stop. We were coming off the highway here and I couldn't even barely get it in first gear. All right, we're just gonna let it roll backwards into this spot. Thankfully, it didn't happen when we were on the dyno because that would have just absolutely ruined dyno day. At least I got to go to the shop, but I'm assuming it's my slave cylinder because when I was leaving, it was like still giving me a little bit. I could press it in just like a little bit and it would disengage and now it's to the point where like I can press it all the way to the floor. I can pump it like five, six times and it just, I just get nothing. If I just put a for sale sign on it right here, do you think someone will take it? We had to walk to get coffee, which is quite honestly fine because I've been walking all week. So it's not like I got used to having a car in those last two hours. Fine. <laughs> I just, I just walk. I just have to accept it. We build cars, but we can't drive them. We just gotta walk. Why is this thing slurping all over the hood? <laughs> <laughs> the lid. Oh, thank God. Hey, thank you. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, dude. My first ever Bernie in this thing. That wasn't a Bernie. It was just a little tire, tire flex. And bye bye. to Lordco really quick and we picked up a new slave cylinder. These, these things are like super cheap. This was like 25 bucks or something. So at least a cheap part went after my dino day. And then I ran home real quick, picked up some tools. So hopefully we can do this in the parking lot and hopefully this is the, pro <laughs> this is the problem. This glove became absolutely useless and completely soaked my hand, but I got this old turd out. Look at this thing, I won't even focus. Maybe the light will help. All right, we got the old one. Did we get the right one? Does look like the correct part. I think we're good to go. But I can't see anything. Yeah, it's on there. It feels like it's just stripping. Well, yeah, right there. You were too deep on it. Okay, I know you guys can't see anything, but I'm pumping the clutch right now. 
Oh, dude, there's nothing there. Yeah, I know, but like, it just keeps dropping to the floor. And then pull it back up. Yeah. Holding. It's all fun and games until it doesn't actually work. Big facts. business which is good the Civic now has a new slave cylinder which thankfully it was just a slave thankfully they're like super cheap super easy to fix but I know Courtney's gonna be a little bummed out because I literally tried to end this video so that we could have like a date night because I know for the rest of the weekend I'm gonna be gone I'm gonna be working on the shop so we're gonna have a date night now it's like seven o'clock it's not too late but it is definitely she's at home like waiting to eat dinner so I do feel bad. I do think the Civic owes her a nice apology. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace out. Stay committed.